Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Blast the Process. I'm your host, Lizdar, and we got with us Flying Fox. Hi, Flying Fox. Hi. And she will be playing Sonic 1, the uh, 2013 release for it. Um, without further ado, you can go ahead and take it away. Okay. Alright, are you ready, right, buddy? Yeah, no, I'm gonna do commentary. Hi, right. everybody. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. Should I do the countdown? Go ahead. All right, uh, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Alright, so one of the things you're going to see coming up in this, or it will be basically apparent from the beginning of the run, is that Tails has a spin dash and can fly. And Tails also has two tails, so I feel like that's worth noting. Um, <laughs> basically, Green Hill 1 is going to be a relatively simple stage. We're going to go roughly the same route just with added spin dashes throughout uh, target time right around like a 22 to 23 can't get a 22 in the original no and you'll see there we took top route right before the signpost as well yeah i tried to jump out of the tunnel sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's weird but you can still get a good time if you take the top route It's worth noting that uh, the guy that made Sonic Mania and with his uh, retro engine is and made these mobile ports that came out on iOS and Android. And unfortunately, that's the only way you can play these. But um, it, it is they do run on the same uh, the engine and no zips. There's a few glitches, but not many. Yeah, not really any exclusive to Tails in the run, unfortunately. Thankfully, uh, the flight that Tails has allows. Tails basically break a lot of the stages and go through different geometry. You know, like not, not necessarily past your level geometry, but just avoid a lot of the route that Sonic would normally have to take. Yo, what up, Super Sonic? I see you in chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming up, uh, another big difference that we're going to see in Green Hill Three is that Tails is going to be taking a route a little bit similar to. Uh, uh, Bottom that song Sonic originally. Sorry, I was laughing at what Draco Dan said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, Draco? And yeah, you'll also see um, she has the lightning shield that was from uh, originally introduced in Sonic 3. Uh, another thing worth noting is that in the options, um, speed cap is actually an option to turn on or off. Thus meaning that we can set it up so that we have Sonic 1's original speed cap, or we have something more akin to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yep. Yep, and uh, with the invincibility in Tails' flight, that boss is easy, easy. Of course, up another tidy room. Uh, coming up in Marble 1, there is some really nice stuff to keep in mind. Um, we're going to be grabbing a fire shield. Fire Shield will allow us to um, not have to use a damage boost that Sonic would normally have to do with doing this route glitchless. Another thing you see right here in the beginning is Tails is just very easily able to pass over a lot of the moving platforms. Not a big worry there. Now here there's, I've seen one of two ways runners go about this. You can run through here or try to time a spin dash. Timing a spin dash, however, is very, very tight and you have a high risk of crush death. Mm -hmm. Tails' this pushing animation is so adorable. Look at those little arms being put forward. <laughs> and so here is that avoidance of the damage boost that I was talking about. And right afterwards, an another avoidance of the damage boost thanks to Tails' option to fly. 55. That's a really clean time there. It, it, it's okay. <laughs> so much like the glitchless route in the Genesis version of this, um, you'll see that she does go through the entire Marble Zone. A lot of cycle-based objects, especially with the spike chandeliers coming up here. But with Tails' flight, she can negate most of that. Right along the ceiling there. Yeah, for some strange reason, flying across the ceiling gives you a burst of speed. I don't know why. It just does. Oh, 
Oh yeah, with Tails' of Flight, you can avoid most of most of the traps that fall through here. Like so, you don't have to wait for any of these. And a quick little spin dash here at the end. Nice. Yep, coming up in Marble 3, another thing that uh, is worth taking note of is you'll see an entirely different route from a glitchless or glitched Sonic 1. Um, there was a route that was added specifically for Knuckles and Tails to be able to take that, um, you know, a little more akin to some of the uh, powers that they have that's different than Sonic. So. Also, Big Magoo. I see you, Kirby. Fine. Oh, yeah, as long as you get one ring back, you're good there. Yeah, as long as I didn't do what I. Whoops, I did in. Sort of, hello? Can you. T Tails? I'm trying to. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing there. I was trying to hit the capsule, and it, and it looks like Tails didn't want to hit the capsule. Okay. That was interesting. I think he's allergic to the capsule. <laughs> it's that time of year for allergies. Uh. Ooh. No, my controller is mucking up. I can't. Like, I'm not moving sometimes. So she's gonna come up here, fly. Wow. In into the uh, the, the uh, platform there. Get the speed shoes. Fly up top here and. Yeah, and she's gonna fly straight across with that uh with that uh, speed boost there from the spring. Hang on, I'm gonna um quickly reset my controller. Okay. I, yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing that. A beautiful thing about that stage too is you don't really have to worry about any of the hazards of being able to fly over the top. It's pretty nice. You fly right into the bottom and a clean 23 despite having controller issues. I think it's Joy to Key mucking up. Yeah, unfortunately being that these only came out on iOS and Android, in order to play them on a computer you have to use an Android emulator with yeah. Joy to Key hopefully agreeing. Yeah, oh well. Let me take a damage boost here, there we go. Mm-hmm. Man, that spin dash makes this level so clean. 28, that's good. And getting the 28 there, beautiful movement. Good use of Tails Flight throughout the stage. Basically what you'd be looking for. What is uh, the IO world record for that stage, I thought? 25 by me. Yeah, so in a marathon, that's phenomenal. Can I make this cycle? Uh, uh yeah, I'm not gonna. Nope, nope, nope. Good call. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Uh, no. These boxes share the Genesis version's strange hitboxes there, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, trying to go for for the quick the quick clip here, especially with Tails' uh, height, is a little bit tricky. Okay. She's gonna come in here, grab the invincibility and the speed shoes, and hopefully carry this invincibility and speed shoes to the boss room. Okay, I think I fixed the controller issue. Tails makes that section so easy. <laughs> yup, you don't have to worry about cycles there. Uh -uh. Get, you, get you a big flight over the top and we good. 
Well, and you'll notice that her Tails Flight is, is really second to none. Um, Tails Flight is a skill that you do have to master to play this efficiently with Tails. Yeah, just being able to get inside a Robotnik like she does is uh, pretty tricky. Yeah. That way, I hear this is your favorite zone in the entire game. This is true. I actually do love Lab 1. Um, the music in the, in the run is really good. Uh, we're going to see with Tails that there's not really a need to grab the platform. And have to wait over the big big water pit of death. Oh yeah, just fly right over it. See, like, <laughs> right there, that flight into the enemy. That That is pristine Tails okay. movement right there. Weird. And you have one of the funkiest tracks on the Genesis. You can't really complain. Uh, yeah, sometimes that can happen. I don't know if it's water physics or something. You can just make me stop there for no reason. Can you not tap right when coming out of the tunnel to fix your momentum? Tap right. Uh, I don't know what you mean because I don't play the Genesis version. Mm, for sure. I mean, there is no speed cap, fat body. <laughs> yeah, that, I guess that is. Yeah. We are activating speed cap coming out of there, come to think of it. And there's a lot of differences between the 2013 remakes and the originals yeah, that might not be yeah. apparent when you're watching it. But some things handle just slightly differently. It feels more solid in a way. Uh. Music? Uh -oh. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why it did that. And then here you'll see uh, we have FF using uh, the glitchless route, very similar to what Sonic would be doing in Sonic 1. Um, one cool thing with being underwater in some of the sections is when we're about to get out of here, you can use a bit of Tails' flight. It's not as useful in the water, but it allows you to get just enough height to get on top of some of these uh, platforms. <laughs> I was tempted to wait and see what happens when the music went down, but uh, no, not, not, not in the speed run. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Chat, you're right, she is a great runner. Well, I try my best. Coming up with Lab 3, uh, another big difference you'll see is uh, we don't actually grab the rings in the beginning of the stage. Um, she's able to get a bubble shield that'll not only protect her, but allow her to skip grabbing one of the bubbles coming out of the water section. Mm -hmm. So Essentially, just... it's a free bubble list. It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, you get self bubble list. <laughs> And then we have the spin dash off the court to allow her to maintain momentum and have to do less of that platforming section. Yeah, um, it just feels so good not hearing the drowning music in the stage. Yeah, it's, it must be nice. <laughs> now well, coming up here in the boss. Um, we're gonna see if Tails' flight changes the boss in any way. Now, with the flight, you you know you can get p past Robotnik with or without it. It's very tricky for any character to do. You can actually get crushed death um, right before trying to pass up Robotnik. Oh, oh God! Ooh. Ooh. All right, smooth recovery. Very smooth recovery. And Tails' shorter hitbox here actually helps just a little bit on some of these uh, some of these jumps to avoid. Uh, Robotnik, can you move, please? Ooh, Thank ooh. you. There we go. Didn't collect a single ring. Nope, I don't want 35. I mean, technically, I could do this shieldless, but I'd rather not do it in a marathon. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, there is a safety checkpoint that you can grab if you try to do it shieldless, but even still. Uh, one of those risk reward situations. One of the levels in Sonic 1 built for absolute speed. Here we go. Yeah, no, Starlight 1 is definitely nice and show nice and designed. 
before a spin dash. Uh, I jump over the okay. enemy there. Okay, Tails, that was weird. Ooh. I was trying to do an Argic. And getting sub pixeled. And two signposts. The signpost so nice we had to done do it twice. <laughs> Look how smug Tails looks, too. <laughs> Just stare, staring at you like, yeah, cool. Well, good job. <laughs> Here's another stage that's just very, very quickly over with. You know, so you oh. over there, get to the top okay. of the stage. Yeah, not having a speed cap here really helps. Yep, especially for being able to take advantage of these little loops right there. Uh, one big difference is generally we would go over the top of the stage, but they have put uh, protections in place for not, not allowing us to do that. Thankfully, Tails has flight and has access to a really, really good path to get a sub-30 here, which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Can't stress enough how clean this run truly is. Also, how, this music how hard cool. Sonic 1 is. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Don't don't by any means think that adding a spin dash makes this any easier. <laughs> nope. The game was very much not designed for a spin dash, but it works. Like, like as we're seeing in the Starlight sections, it works a lot. Also, gotta love the top of the stage. Tails is very familiar with it. We see that used in a number of Tails speed runs. Coming up, we'll see more of uh, Tails', Tails use of uh, using its tail and smacking a big thing. Who needs a game. seesaw? <laughs> yeah, no, no frame perfect jumps here. We just we just fly our ass into him. <laughs> All, right, All right, coming up next is the that? worst level in the game, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, having to do Scrap Green 1 without any glitches, I I wouldn't wish wish that on my worst enemy, so. But there is some cool movement stuff that you're gonna see. Um, some time, some cycle-based stuff that you'll see going on. And right here from the start, you'll see we don't need to go uh, have have to deal with any of those platforms. We just fly right up to the top, which is nice, which allows us to actually not even worry about certain cycles. Mm -hmm. Tails is the great speedrun equalizer here. The time yeah, you okay. get is the time you earn. You don't have to worry about cycles or anything. Uh. Like that. uh what? Ooh. Oh. I'm not oh, sure what happened right there. Is the worst part of the game, everybody. That it must have been sub pixels that did that. Because that felt right to me. It looked right. It just yeah, it seems it like you clipped into the floor, which is that very shouldn't have unfortunate. happened. Yeah. I mean, I was going fast enough. Hey, we got nine lives, it's cool. Tails proving that not only is Tails there a we fox, go. big magoo. Mm -hmm. 33. Yeah, phenomenal time. Unbelievable. Oh, you gotta love those sub-pixels in the Sonic game. Coming up, oh. another relatively tricky stage. Uh, we will see Tails basically pass all of the cogs here. I'm gonna stop on one just to reset the flight to be able to get all the way to the top without getting exhausted. Nice little damage boost there. That's intentional. Yep, and that allows us to skip the other ones and go right next, right to the next section, which you'll see she'll line herself up against these. Uh, Oscillating things are, I don't know, smashy majiggers. Yeah. <laughs> the hey, boss? Dr. Robotnik's oh, smashy majiggers. Watch yeah, out. Yeah, dude. You know, oh. from the Acne Factory. Oh, it's yeah. weird how doors stop you in this version. Yeah, it's really annoying. It doesn't happen in the Genesis version, just this version. Apparently, going too fast, uh, just, yeah. They might have added, like, an extra point of collision on the doors, too. Numbing tax, man. More than likely. 
And you can't do cutscenes. Was, was, was it both Taxman and Stealth who worked yep. on it? Yep. And their their team of uh, Sonic hackers, absolutely. Dope. Mm -hmm. These games don't get enough attention. They are really, really good. Yeah, no, having the spin dash and different character abilities definitely brings uh, some replayability into the classics that we weren't used to growing up. Okay. Hold on. Got it. There we go. Unfortunately, she fell down, but look at that cute little tails animation. Ain't nobody worried. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. bothered by that. Those little kicky legs. I'm trying his best. <laughs> Okay. Right, and 30 without any glitches is wonderful. And then yep. here, this is entirely random. Mm -hmm. So basically, she has to react to what's going on. Uh, we can cannot manipulate it like you do in OG Sonic 1. Uh, target time is still a uh, 112 if you get all of the proper hits. The one we don't want to see is when the two men. Because then you have to make more of a dedicated decision. Nice, but that spin dash helps for that exact instance. Yeah, yep. Yeah, FF showing that she's a pro. She, she knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could have got the wrong one. Uh, went the wrong way there. You're such a small boy. Tails has some pretty big feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's still growing, man. Yeah, imagine when Tails hits 18. Whew. Size okay, time's years. coming up. And time. GG. GG. So... Robotnik is dummy sick. Uh, very impressive. Very clean run there. Sonic 1. Yeah, you can't... Probably the hardest Sonic game, as you, far as the classics. You can't get decapitation on this version, I'm afraid. So, sorry guys. They really unfortunately took it out. Yeah. So I keep, get, I keep getting hair in my eyes. There we go. So we have, we have the sequel coming up, right? Uh, yep. Sonic 2 2013, released on iOS and Android. Same runner, Flying Fox. Same character. Same character, <laughs> yeah. It's more of the same, but different. Okay, so hang tight everybody. We are going to do a quick setup here to switch the game over. And we'll be back with more Flying Fox, more classic Sonic. <laughs> 